The UI plugin comes with a new tab called CAC Management just for cloud provider organization. For this, you will have to download the UI plugin from the VMware download portal and activate it for customer and provider organization. Let's walk through each step. First, we are going to download the required OVAs. One is the Container Service Extension 4.0 OVA and Tanzu Kubernetes Grid OVA supported by CSC 4.0 release. For Container Service Extension, we are going to create and manage a solution org just by providers, which will serve two functions. One is to host the Container Service Extension server and host the shared catalog, which will hold all the Kubernetes templates being used by all customer organization. In this demo, it is called the admin organization. For this demo purpose, I have already downloaded the Tanzu Kubernetes grid Ubuntu OVAs and uploaded to the shared catalog. Next configuration is split into two steps. First is to create prerequisite like CAC admin role, default Kubernetes rights bundle, a global Kubernetes cluster author role, and standard Tanzu Kubernetes grid VM sizing policies for VMs in our Tanzu Kubernetes clusters. Second is set up the configuration parameters such as cluster API for VCD, global proxy, syslog configuration to forward the CSE server logs and other component versions such as CSI and CPI. While creating TKG cluster, we create an ephemeral VM, which will be our bootstrap cluster. As provider, you can predefine the default size of this VM. Also, we allow cloud providers to use GitHub personal access token to bypass the rate limiting constraints. This is especially helpful when customers are performing many cluster create and scale operations. For this release, the template has already loaded CSI, CPI, and CAP VCD release versions for me. Let's take a closer look at what was just created. For that, we will navigate back to provider portal to look at the rights bundles where we saw the Kubernetes write bundles and a global role called Kubernetes cluster author. It has been published to all customer organizations. So from this point on, customer admin can use this role for any user. They can create and manage the Kubernetes clusters. And lastly, the CSE admin role, which will we will be using later on. We are now going to publish the sizing policies we created in earlier step to desired customer organization. This will allow customers to create Tanzu Kubernetes clusters with standardized VM sizes for their control and worker plane VMs. One last step before starting our server is to create a user with CAC admin role, which we will do in the provider portal by creating a new user with available roles as CAC admin role. It is time to start the container service extension server. Let's navigate to the cloud solution organization, in our case, admin org, to deploy the CAC server OVA.
The container service extension requires connectivity with VMware Cloud Director's URL specified in this uh, screen. So we have to choose the network accordingly. Here the service account is the account we created in earlier steps, which is user role or user CACSA with role CAC admin role. We are going to log in with pro created credentials as CAC admin role and generate a new API token. So in CAC server, instead of using the user's username and password, we are going to use the API token. The service account org is the system org which is nothing but our cloud provider organization and last is the vapps org where we are running the container service extension server is nothing but our cloud solutions org in this case it is admin org while we wait for container service extension ova deployment to complete we are going to log in as customer organization admin to one of the customer organizations. I'm going to create a new user with Kubernetes cluster author roles using the customer admin portal. Here you can see I already have a role called Kubernetes cluster author. Let's create a new user. I'm now back to cloud solutions org and powering on my CSC server. Let's test by creating a sample Kubernetes cluster from this customer organization and the user role we just created. I'm now logged in as a Kubernetes cluster author user, ECME KCO user and creating a new cluster. Here I can select multiple control plane uh, number of nodes, can select various node pool. Node pool is nothing but grouping of worker plane VMs with similar properties. So here we have now option to create multiple node, node pools for worker plane VMs. We can now create default storage class on the cluster while creating the Kubernetes cluster. And last but not the least, if we have dedicated control plane or um, a virtual IPs for control plane of the cluster, we can provide upfront while creating the Kubernetes cluster so it's not auto-picked from external network of the customer organization. To summarize, we looked at all steps to start container service extension on VMware Cloud Director. Thank you for watching.